Jared Abbey here. Today we have um, WWE Elite WrestleMania 40 Elite figures. Uh, we have The Rock and John Cena with the build a figure and Nicholas from WrestleMania. I think it was WrestleMania, I want to say 35 from that was from in 2018. Um, don't care about the build figure. I care about the actual figures, but this packaging is pretty cool. It's got the WrestleMania 40 logo for this year. With the Liberty Bell because they're going to be in Philadelphia. You got John Cena build a figure picture. Here's John Cena, the actual picture of him, and then there's the figure inside there. The, the silver and green colors for like the Philadelphia Eagles because that's going to be WrestleMania to be in the Philadelphia Eagles uh, Stadium. Here's the back. There's also Pat McAfee and Trish Dias is also in this series. The description about John Cena, another picture. And then there's the full build a figure of Nicholas. And then here is the rock. Pretty much the same thing, just just rock stuff. So there's a picture of rock, actual figure. Uh, there's the name, another picture of the rock. More descriptions about the rock and then the picture. Uh, this rock is from uh, when they actually, both these figures are from when they fought, same gear, same everything, when they fought at WrestleMania. They want. They fought two WrestleManias in a row. I can't remember which one it is, so I'm not even gonna try to say which one it is because I can't remember which one was which. I know it was like 28 and 29. I can't remember which one was which though. Um, but let's get these figures out of the package and let's review. All right, I got the figures out of the package. So starting off, John Cena. Um, he comes with for the build a figure Nicholas's arms because he's a little kid. Um, he has tiny arms. Really could care less about this build a figure. So let's get these stupid arms out of here. Let's get into actual John Cena stuff. So we got John Cena's open hands for You Can't See Me. And then here's the actual figure himself. So first, he's got the black shoes with the white trim. Pretty just simple shoes. He's got the black knee pads. Um, and then he's got this like new version of it they did for like a color. And it's like, it's his normal blue jeans that he usually, uh, blue jean shorts. But they made it like look more realistic. It's like darker. There's like shadows and like hinting to it, which is pretty cool. It's usually just like a solid color. And then here's his shirt. The original figure that came out of this, uh, WrestleMania did not have a shirt, so that's nice. This is Rise Above. Hate since uh sent a Cena titian, like for Cena. <laughs> I don't know. I can pronounce it for a second. And then uh, here's the dog, like uh, dog tags for his chain that he always wears. Then he's got the. And then he's got his normal green wristbands. For focus, it has like his, you know, this one says, you can't see me in the other one. He has it in his hands like this. Uh, double jointed arms, obviously. For the lead figures, he's got the normal ad crunch. I'm not gonna take the shirt off right now. And then let's get uh, his hat off here. And that's really stiff fit, that's interesting. They're usually like super loose. That was really on there. Uh, and then he has his, like his older haircut when uh, he had the short hair, but it was a little, like, bumpy. But he's got his normal green John Cena has. You can't see me, never give up. Other symbol. But, yep, that is the John Cena uh, WrestleMania 40 Elite figure. Take, as you can see, the shirt off. Uh, he's also got his armbands. His, same thing as the shirt. Um, double jointed arms. But pretty cool figure. Good looking. John Cena figure. Uh, next up is The Rock. The Rock comes with for the build a figure. The tag titles, which is the best part about this whole entire build a figure, is getting another set of tag titles. And then a uh, Nicholas's head. Could care less about Get the hell out of here. Um, then we got Rock came with two mic holding hands because he has two fist hands on right now. So here's the figure himself. But he comes with the scratch logo WWE title that he showed off when they were feuding. The only thing I have against this title is for some reason um, Mattel is cheap and they did not color it all in. It's all gold here, but the scratch, uh, like the slant like color piece for like the bottom of the logo, they always say that line for WWE should be red, not gold, so it doesn't look like a big blob. So this title is kind of kind of sucks, but it does have the side plates, but. The Ultimate Edition version of The Rock comes with a much better version of the title. So this title kind of just sucks. But the one thing about the best part about this figure that I just have to go straight to is this head scan of The Rock. Let's see if it will focus. 
I'm like that head's can't. It almost looks real. It looks like a real picture. That that looks just like the Rock when he had a beard. Absolutely insane. Shredded and ripped like always, because the Rock is. Got the tribal tattoos all the way around. But this one's from this is from 2014, so he does not have like the new version of the Brahma bull. It's like all through here, like of his arm and everything. It's just the little Brahma bull. Double joint arms with the elbow pads. Fist hands, you got the black trunks with the silver Brahma bull in the back. Same thing, silver Brahma bull. And then there's his normal legs, black knee pads, and his uh, classic black boots with like the little cutout in the back. But pretty normal rock figure from all the way down here, but up above is the bearded version of the rock with uh, amazing head scan. Probably the best rock head scan Mattel has ever done. That's why I was excited to get this figure. It's just like, you can pop this head skin on any rock that has the tribal tattoos. Because he did not have a beard and bald head before he got the tribal tattoos. But overall, I think both of these figures are really good. Really cool figures. I'm probably going to get the Pat McAfee. I could care less about the Trish Stratus. But I wanted to get these figures reviewed because I just got them. Also, I have uh, almost the whole entire greatest set series to review. I think it's uh, the rock. Uh, Scorpion's King and the Roddy Piper from the movie. I got the Earthquake and Typhoon, our true Seth Rollins and Bruce the Barber Beefcake. I saw to uh, review. But this, all these uh, WrestleMania 40 figures, there's four of them. I got two of them. Got them reviewed here. This is JW. Make sure to like, subscribe, stay tuned for more wrestling figure content. And I'll see you guys in the next one. <laughs>